Hello everyone, Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Hey, it's currently a uh, Wednesday uh, afternoon after five. Just wanted to kind of show you what's on deck. Well, so we have to recap here. So this is the living room uh, at the corporate offices of Heritage Farms. And a little history here. We're in the middle of a little uh, upgrade. This whole pandemic, we've, uh, you know, to recap, we've been in this house like 24, three 24 years and a lot of stuff is just starting to break and needs to be replaced and updated so you know after a couple of decades you know what are you going to do so here's the whole story so when we built this house on the left hand side of the fireplace we had one of those monstrous projection tvs that sat on the ground it was six feet tall it was four feet deep so on the left side of the fireplace, we did not have cabinets. You can see on the right hand side, these are the original cabinets in the house. So uh, after about 10 years in the house, the, the projection theater TV died. Thank goodness the picture quality was terrible anyway. But uh, we ended up replacing it. And uh, at the time we had the kids and they were into gaming and video games and everything else. So we had this custom cabinet built and in the bottom, we had all of the surround sound wiring. We had slide out drawers so the kids could pull their video game out. We bought a LED TV, one of the first generations that would fit in here. And it was pretty big for the time. It was like, I don't know, 65 inches or something. And it was a great gaming center for the kids. Well, fast forward, here we are. Now this is the old TV. Well. That TV is seven years old and it stopped working. Uh, it's working, but it has like these gray bars through it and it's just almost impossible to watch. So here's what's sad. So what we paid for that TV is almost double what you can get a brand new one for. The new ones are relatively inexpensive. That one was expensive at the time. So uh, what you gonna do? But you know, my trend around here continues. Hot water heater, swimming pool equipment, you know, refrigerator, it, the, the list just keeps going and going and going. But you know, if we're knocking stuff out, we're upgrading the house. I mean, home values are going through the roof. So it's important that you keep your house in tip top shape, you know, cause who knows one day I may pull the rip cord and want to get out of here and move to the farm full time. Hmm. So if that ever happens, I got to make sure that, uh, this house is ready and in good shape. So here's the dilemma. We want to go with a bigger TV. We want to put the TV over the fireplace. So we're going to mount the TV over the fireplace mantle. We're going to take these cabinets out. We're going to use various pieces of them, the hardware, some of the wood. And uh, I've got a cabinet guy that's already came out and he's going to match the cabinets on the right hand side. So these cabinets over here, we're going to duplicate and put over here because let's face it we're empty nesters the kids are gone so there's not going to be any more video gaming going on and all of that so we're going to move forward well we got a couple of problems so i had the uh, cabinet guy come out he's already got the design he's already started working on the cabinets so this console is going to come out it's out of here but we got a dilemma this house was not ready for the modern age so there is no electricity behind this fireplace. So I've got to figure out how to get electricity from behind this TV down here to where we have electricity already. And luckily I found a solution. There's a couple of videos on there and uh, everything else. So before I tell you what we replaced this with, uh, which I'm very excited about that, we have a, uh, a TV on the way we got it ordered. Uh, through Costco, one of my favorite stores, but they had some incredible deals going on uh, big screen LED TVs. And uh, I tell you what, we got a monster TV on the way. So uh, treated myself to something, but let me show you what else we have. So excuse the house here as we walk. Da -na 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 -na. So here is the, uh, the rest of the story. So since we're gonna actually put that new TV in, we're also going to install a uh, sound bar and uh, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on there because uh, yes, I like good quality sound when I'm watching a movie uh, or if I wanted to listen to music or anything like that in the house, but I wanted something pretty decent. 
So what we went with was a uh, LG soundbar. It's got the Meridian uh, technology, which Meridian's a company that partnered with LG. I would almost uh, kind of tell you it's almost kind of like uh, Bose to a certain degree. But anyway, it's a five channel soundbar with Dolby. Has 500 watts. Uh, let's see, it's got a rear speaker kit. You got two speakers in the rear. You, this is a link because the speakers are wireless. You also have a woofer. And then this is the uh, sound bar that goes underneath the TV on the mantle. Here's what's beautiful, it's Bluetooth technology. So uh, when you're actually out there working, uh, or if you just wanna listen to music, you can play music from your cell phone, tablet, whatever you have, and we can get music going in the living room. So we're doing a couple of things. So here is the kit I found that we're gonna actually use to uh, get electricity behind the, uh, the television. And it's pretty ingenious, so let's take a look at it. It's made by Power Bridge. Found this on Amazon. So there's the first piece. This is the second piece. And here is the third. So how this thing works is, behind the TV, you actually cut a hole in the wall, and this thing snaps in, and you can see it's got a screw here with some little wings that come out. And that's what holds it in the sheetrock. Pretty ingenious. So you got a recessed hole that you can keep two plugs into. Also, you got this little bitty deal. See how my finger's sticking through there? So you can feed your wires through there if you got an HDMI wire or cable wire or anything of that nature. This comes with a six foot cord and it will run down through the wall. And uh, you can kind of see right here, maybe on this box, how this thing is kind of intended to work, but you got the hole that goes behind the TV, it comes down to the bottom and then you fish your wire out and then it plugs into a normal uh, electrical outlet. So really ingenious little uh, setup here, but it allows you to hide the wires and get the power behind your TV. Now the next thing we did, so when the TV shows up, my wife did some research and she found this really cool little LED setup here and it's really inexpensive. This thing came from, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Hiromecha? 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 I don't know. But anyway, of course made in China. But it's a string of LED lights and what you do with these LED lights is you put them behind the television and they plug into a USB port on the TV and when you turn the TV on it actually puts a back glow behind the television of a really dim LED light it's almost kind of like a ring light that you would use on a zoom call but here's what's cool it's got a remote and you can actually change the color to just about anything in the spectrum kind of like the swimming pool lights that we did a while back I mean, if you're watching a movie and you want purple, green, red, whatever color, little background light behind the television, pretty, pretty neat. It's kind of a mood enhancing uh, light, if you will. And uh, I like it, so kind of neat, but I think they're like relatively super cheap. Like, I don't know, 20 bucks maybe, 30 bucks. Not very expensive. So that's what we're working on here. So I'm gonna set this, uh, tripod up here and we're going to do the unboxing but this is the project we have going on so uh, let's take a look here and see what we got bear with me one second move the led lights out of the way so this is the first time i saw this so we got this from uh, costco also um, it's like you know it was under 300 dollars. it was on sale so let's see what we got in the box so you got the template here where if you're gonna mount, you can actually mount the sound bar to the wall if you wanted to. In our application, it's actually gonna sit on the mantle. And when we install it, our TV is gonna basically be the height right above it. So it's gonna be pretty seamless in its appearance. So in here, we got the owner's manual. So here is your uh, remote control. Oh, it's your optical cable to connect to the back of the TV. Look at there, they even give you some batteries. Very nice of them. Let's see what else we got. Here is, ooh. 
Here's an actual power cord and a power cable, which would actually connect to one of the plugs in here. And you notice how I like that this is one of those weird offset plugs. You can kind of see here, it goes out and then it comes down at a 90 degree. That's one of the things that's nice about this kit is they put the plugs at the top so you have room for any funky applications that you may come across. Power cord, another cord. Let's see what else we have. All right. Here is the actual sound bar itself. Take the protective wrap off. Let's see what we got. Let me tell you what, I'm pretty impressed. This thing is heavy. Uh, it is a metal housing. Or maybe it's composite. It doesn't feel like plastic. So maybe it's just, uh, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't feel like plastic. It feels like some type of composite material. But here's what we have on the back here. So we have uh, our optical connection. You've got uh, your actual plug-in here. You've got your HDMI, HDMI out. There's your power plug-in. So that's what the back of the unit looks like. Get you set up here again. Bear with me. Turn the unit around. Pretty interesting. You've got a speaker on the top of the bar, on the left and the right. And then this actually has a metal some of these sound bars have like a little fabric cover over the front. This is actually metal, so I kind of dig that. And uh, I wish I could look in here. If you hold it just right with the light, you can see it's got speakers on each end. There's like an oblong or a, kind of a rectangle type shaped speaker on there. So I really think there's like five or seven little speakers in this bar. So that looks pretty good. I like it, but man, weight wise, the thing is heavy. Let's see what else is in the box. A little something here. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the brackets where if you wanted to mount the unit on the wall. Let's say you had a fireplace that didn't have a mantle on it and you, you needed to mount this to the wall. These are the brackets that they have for that. I don't think we will be using those, but once again, nice to have them. Let's see what else is in the box. Wow. This must be the, uh, yep, this is gonna be the woofer. If I can get this pulled apart here. There we go. There's the bottom of it. Okay, so this is the back of the subwoofer. Let's see what you got here. So there's a button on here that you push to pair it. Here is a uh, plug where you actually plug it in. This is your port or your vent on the back. So when the subwoofer is moving, the air can actually flow. And pretty heavy. And once again, I'm pretty happy with the quality of the cabinet. So, you know, it's not a huge woofer. I'm trying to figure out what it is. I don't even know if you can get the cover off to look inside here. A little scared to do that. But uh, anyway, looks pretty good. So let's set that aside and see what else we have. Okay. Here is the rear speakers. So this is set up as a 5.1 channel uh, home stereo system. And what that means is you've got two channels in the back. You got a subwoofer, which is number three. And then you got the uh, front speakers, four and five, which gives you the appearance of five speakers overall. Okay, let me get this packaging material out of the way. Let's dig in and see what we got here. Okay, so here is your left and your right rear speakers. 
They're not huge, you know, by any stretch of the imagination, but they're pretty good size. I'm gonna guess they're three and a half or so, kind of equivalent to some type of car speaker. But if you look at the bottom of them, oh, that's the top, sorry. If you look at the bottom, it's got this curved little area. And if you look, they're designed so that when you set it down, it's actually angled. So like if you set these on a bookcase or a cabinet, it's angled up so that you got the direction. On the back of them, you got a mounting hole. But these are actually wireless speakers. And uh, you can run hard wire if you want to, but it's not required. Then this, for all practical terms, I'm gonna say basically this is kind of the equivalent of a router in your house. So this little standby or this link is what's gonna communicate from the box to the sound bar and then from the box to the speakers and from the box to this. And uh, actually I made a mistake. I think I told, told you incorrectly. The subwoofer is wireless. These two little speakers are gonna have to actually connect to the back of the box in that range right there. So there you go. So this is the LG soundbar and it's the uh, Meridian model SN7R. Came from Costco. So it's under 200 or under 300 bucks and uh, that's what we're working on. So just wanted to kind of do the unboxing. Wanted to show you the project on how we're going to pull the wires. Uh, the TV is going to show up in the next couple of days, but we'll take that kit on the power. The new TV is literally going to come over all the way, so I'll probably mount the power to this TV like right here. That way it won't interfere with the mounting bracket. Plus, it gives me the ability, the cord on that kit is only like six feet long, so it gives me the ability for the power to come from here down to basically somewhere in here with the uh, the new cabinet that we put on. All right, so I just wanted to give you an update, but we're updating the audio visual in our living room at the Heritage Farms Texas corporate offices. Hey, glory be to God, more to follow, but this is part one of this video. Just wanted to show you what's on deck. If you're not a member, please hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment, hit the thumbs up, ring the bell. Would love to go check out your channel as well. As always, glory be to God.